uh, on BBC WM. Karen, good evening. Good evening, Paul. So wh why did you vote against it? Well, because I don't think it's enforceable. Obviously, as, as a mum um, and, and as an ex-smoker, I never smoked in the car with my children. Um, I was responsible enough not to even dream of doing that. And I don't think you can enforce things like that. I mean, how far do you take this? Do we say that women can't smoke at all because, you know, a baby's in enclosed space and, then, and, you know, that would affect them or they can't buy wine in supermarkets? I mean, you know, we've got to give people some responsibility for their lives and how they run them. How, how difficult was it for you to go against the government on this vote? It wasn't. There was a free vote, right. um, so there was no going against the government. And I just put the view. I, I obviously disagree with smoking in cars. I think it's wrong, but I don't think it's. I, I don't think it, it, a, it's enforceable by the police. And b, I think that people should have their own personal responsibility. Well, there's that side of it. But if it's law, I heard somebody say uh, yesterday. I think it was that uh, just the nature that it would be a law that people fewer people would do it. Fewer people because it's law. They, they wouldn't. They wouldn't flout the law. But where do we where do we stop here, Paul? I mean, you know, do, how how far do we restrict people's liberties? I mean, you know, if 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 it was the law and somebody I don't know had a 16 year old child in the back and was stopped and there was a cigarette in the ashtray, do they say they smoked it yesterday or today or whatever? I, I just think that you know, as parents, we should have some responsibility for our children. And you know, as a parent of two children, I never smoked in the car and I wouldn't dream of it. And I, actually, to be fair, I never smoked in my house.